Traditionally, the procedure had been to develop the weapon first and then phase in supporting equipment as needed. The men who conceived the IRBM did not have five or six years. Somehow, a new, faster approach had to be found, a way to compress time. This challenge was met with the concept of concurrency, preparing for the weapon's use while it was yet being developed. There were many men who laid their careers on the line to get those years. If any one man could be called the driving force behind the concept of concurrency, it would be General Bernard A. Schriever, then head of the Air Force's Ballistic Missile Division. It is now a matter of history how the Douglas Aircraft Company, working under Air Force and Space Technology Laboratory direction with a team of associated contractors, successfully designed, built, and test-fired the first Thor IRBM in just over one year. Sometimes the problem seemed insurmountable, both the big ones and the small. Many times it was only the spirit of dedicated men that carried the program through. One time, for instance, there was a power failure during a final countdown. Rather than call off the launch, the blockhouse circuit breaker was propped shut with a broom handle. For a while, it was touch and go, but they got a successful launch. In anticipation of the imminent deployment of the Thor missile to overseas bases, Royal Air Force crews were brought to the United States for training. These men would maintain and operate the missiles stationed within the United Kingdom. For the first time in military history, combat crews started their training to maintain and operate a weapon before that weapon was even in existence. The effectiveness of Thor was thoroughly demonstrated when it successfully delivered the warhead 1,500 miles downrange where, time after time, it impacted with phenomenal accuracy on the precise target area. Thor has shown us that all missiles have a great expanding potential and that the national role in space can provide valuable information for peace as well as for defense. And Thor has proven that competitive industrial contractors can work hand in hand for the common good. And above all, it has proven that there are still dedicated pioneers in this free nation and that the combined efforts of these men can transcend the challenges of the impossible. <laughs>